Kids are stupid <laughs> and emotions are dumb. We saw After Earth. So you know what that means. Now it's time for Hello, people of Earth, and welcome to How Did This Get Made? I am joined, as always, by June Diane Rayfield. How are you, June? Good. How are you, Paul? Very good. And Jason Manzikas. How are you, Jason? <laughs> Just great, Paul. Just <laughs> great. Uh, we have a very special guest with us today. Uh, the <laughs> lovely, the talented, the uh, enormously funny Paul F. Tompkins. Oh, Please hello. <laughs> Something very unnerving to me about seeing a married couple be so formal with each other. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, Paul. How are you? <laughs> 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 and Jim, you were doing well. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I lost his I know. Like, I like, yeah. You guys have woke up together, have spent the whole day together. <laughs> and and it's as if you, that's going to be a question. I'm going to answer you it. Fi- I'm doing you well. Fine? Yeah, you fine? Fine. <laughs> right, June, did you want to address your allergy attack on okay, the show? Okay, well, the first five minutes of this movie was a wash because I was having a severe allergy attack. <laughs> oh, I didn't attack. know what was going a on. A yes. severe <laughs> allergy attack. Oh, and we should, My, let, we should let everyone know. We saw this movie together yes, we did. just minutes ago. Yes. yes. Uh, this is the, like, uh, the second time we've ever done yeah, this. We're first still time vibrating. <laughs> this is. This movie. But one of my eyes was tearing uncontrollably throughout on the, drive the entire movie. Over, like a duct had like just been. On the drive over, you were using a t-shirt to wipe <laughs> your eyes. Because I had nothing in the car. And, and it, it got just, worse for you for the first five It was the craziest thing. It was and just my like, nose was running. Like your eye was leaking? Yes. Oh, you my got a leaky eye. Leaking. I had a leaky eye for the first five minutes of the movie. But you didn't. Do you, do you, okay, so then do you need us to explain anything to you? Well, Did here's, anything? What, here's what I wrote down. <laughs> do you think down. you missed anything during your <laughs> leaky eye period? The first question I have is about what. <laughs> what happened? What, no. Was, what is a Street what, Fighter? Were, <laughs> was Will, baby Will Smith, was he doing an accent? Yes. Well, that was the thing or, I was yes. so or, confused about because he was British. Like Certain people in this movie were British but not and others British. not. Here, yes. Everyone was doing what I think was supposed to be a future accent. Yes. Really? Yes, yes absolutely. In, yes. And, and the person who was doing it the least was Will Smith. Yes. Um, and the person who was doing it the most was one of the guards the, uh, early I, on in the movie. I think when the, the guard that tells Jaden Smith that he can't be a space ranger, yes, he has a, he's very <laughs> British. Okay, so yeah. wait a second. Well, well it was sort so, of like South African, and then sometimes yes. it was like a reggae accent. Yes. Well, I felt like I was watching, like, that is an old reference, but I, Claudius, like a PBS, like, like, <laughs> yeah. and it was like a very, I'm talking like, th- it was yeah. very pronounced. Everybody spoke in very measured tones. But so that sometimes, does, you know... Sometimes people would say, like, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, what? He says a lot, like, Will Smith, again, not paying attention to the accent part. Like, he's like, that is pretty cool. Like, he yeah. will yeah, or break. Like, God um, damn it. <laughs> and, and then other times they were speaking like robots. It was so weird. Well, uh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I couldn't. I See, I thought uh, Jaden Smith had just some terrible accent that he couldn't lose for the movie. Well, that's what I thought, too. I thought I had not seen The Karate Kid. Does he have an <laughs> British accent? I thought he had a speech impediment. That, that's what I <laughs> When it first started. During my allergy attack. During, the, I during was, the voiceover? I was, yeah. I yeah. was spinning out and thinking, oh, this sucks for this kid because... He has a speech impediment, and he's a terrible actor. That's like two strikes against you (laughs) if your job is to portray different people again and again. And then I thought his performance actually was not that bad as it went on. Yeah, I didn't think he like. I know a lot of people have been. Wait, I thought it was great. Wait, what? What? I thought it was great. He no, was not, I, he was I not bad. The whole third act of the movie, he really pulled off. I feel like people are really ripping on Jaden. I don't think that Jaden. I think there's a lot of problems with this movie. Uh, I think Jaden did his best. <laughs> hey, look, if, if if an actor is being told, like, hey, go over and talk to that giant bird over there. <laughs> have a, have a yeah, chat I with do, a giant bird. That. Real Good. conversation. Yeah. I did th- <laughs> Keep and, he goes, and he goes, what is he saying? Hey, thanks, thanks. man. Hey, thanks, hey, man. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. I, wrote that I, I, I couldn't. I, I, I guess. Okay. Everybody's going to be nice to Jaden, I guess. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, well, you can. I, I thought he was terrible, but <laughs> in, in, in his defense, he's acting for 
the the vast majority of the movie against no one. Well, that is he's that acting is the thing that you in a don't vacuum. Know. There are no. It is hard to to gauge levels. It is hard to. He's just looking off camera and delivering like lines as if he's in a scene with his father, which well, his father is not there. Well, we basically just give you the uh, the outline of this movie, which is. Um, the, in the future, Earth has to be evacuated. Everyone gets on these ships. They go to a different planet where they all adopt the British accent. Uh, <laughs> the whole world just jumps on that. Uh, and then um, That's what I think, by the way, the accent was supposed to be, as though like the whole Earth had just, like, people from all over had now colonized together. And everyone yeah. decided and, and to so speak that, English. that's the sort of, yeah, English and is the main language, yeah. and the accents all fused together to sound like this. Um, so they're on this planet. Uh, Will Smith is the the head of this uh, Ranger Corps kind of thing. He's a very decorated soldier because he has no fear. And uh, it's important to have no fear because there is a race of aliens uh, that can smell fear. But he's very successful at beating those aliens because he does not have fear. Yeah, the, the aliens, aliens, they otherwise cannot <clears throat> see you. They do not know you're there. And that's, like, like a Tyrannosaurus you, you Rex. You do something called ghosting. ghosting. Yes. <laughs> the, that's in the voiceover in the beginning. This phenomenon is known as ghosting. <laughs> and I was like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, um, you know, Will Smith and his son have a bad relationship, but Will Smith takes his son out on... Some sort of space adventure. Because uh, his wife is like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? There's a boy in there yeah. who needs a father. And he's well, like, well, a- I guess I'll just put you on a spaceship with me and we'll go I- into space. Uh, with a uh, deadly creature aboard? Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll load up one of the most deadly things that hunts us into the cargo bay. And then we'll go on a space adventure. Well, and one of the main like issues in their relationship is that Jaden... Uh, years earlier had witnessed the death of his sister who yes. tried to ghost and fight this alien but but he smelled her fear well yeah the Jayden sister put him in a little planter <laughs> what are those a little, things called a terrarium, a terrarium. A terrarium. <laughs> thank you she he fit survived by sitting in terrarium but, but we're supposed to understand <laughs> that the subtext of their relationship is that Will Smith is resentful that this boy didn't fight on behalf of his sister. A child! A six yeah. years old! Yeah. Max. At the max! Max! At max! max yeah. he's, he's six years he's old. He's old child. enough to fit in a, <laughs> a planter. Terrarium. And by the way... It's something that is meant yes. to hold plants. Yes. By the way, I do love how they reveal that the entire movie, you're looking at it over his shoulder, so you see he's in a bubble, but at the end, they kind of, the camera pulls back to reveal this very small terrarium. Yeah. It yeah. really was... Some it scattered was, plants on the ground. <laughs> yeah, and Jaden doesn't play the part of... I mean, this is a chi- uh, uh, even uh, younger child actor who's yeah. a yes. six-year-old. Yes, he and so Will Smith was mad that the six-year-old didn't throw down with the giant eight-foot-tall <laughs> alien. Well, I don't know. Who's known for like crucifying all the humans. By the way, that was a crazy thing as well. Right? Yes. The alien loves to not just kill humans, but then like kind of stick them into trees. Yeah. yeah. Impales them on and, things. Yeah. And, and as is later explained, it's a, it's a pheromone trap. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that you'll see it, you'll be afraid, and you'll just stand there looking at it. And <laughs> oh, the monster comes along and gets you. That's right. Okay. But then also, that's I noticed, how it triggers your fear. I noticed yeah. that. Uh, these monsters, they don't eat people. No, they no. just seem to murder people. Yeah. Yes. That's all they want to do. Kill. So yeah. it's this very specific race right. of aliens that just, their whole <laughs> deal sure. is, we what want it to is, kill is, human beings. What's interesting <laughs> is, those, don't ask us any other <laughs> yeah. questions about it. Who we eat, who cares? <laughs> this is what I think was happening, though. Those aliens aren't the aliens, those are like the aliens' dogs, basically. Those aren't the race of aliens that are like what? they. They aren't the. They wait, aren't, wait, wait. What? I think those things were dropped. Remember, they dropped from the sky. Uh, okay. They were the aliens, basically. I think dropped those things onto Earth to just kill everything. Oh, that's what I think. Those things were like killing, like like wild a pack of wild dogs, basically. They were not like the intelligent life forms that were. That did anybody else? I don't <laughs> no. know. Wow, you know I didn't there's get so that. much. That's information. a good idea, though. Yeah, yeah, it's really it's hard because there's so much information coming at us in the first two minutes of the movie. Yeah, and went with a leaky Jane, eye. <laughs> when yeah. I got a leaky eye, <laughs> but they really, yeah, like they really kind of go like, "Here's everything that you need to know." Yeah. Okay, okay, let's yeah. go. It's like, All and then three days over. earlier, yeah, yes, yeah, so it opens I don't like know. an alias episode. I don't know why Earth, <laughs> but I really actually don't know what hap- what happened to Earth. We polluted it. Wait, was there, yeah, there was, there yes. was at the quick, very beginning there, there was, was a like, quick montage of pollution. Oh, and then eventually, I, again, uh, I couldn't. And then see we went. I, then what happened was, I, see, there you go. Because of the smog, probably. Yeah, right. 
so we because of our because of our our cars and driving around in our big cars we ruined the earth then we found nova prime we went to nova prime but what we didn't realize was that aliens would attack us on nova prime by dropping these attack dogs on us wait wait so the alien oh so the aliens never even attacked earth no the oh, only alien no. on earth was the one they brought, brought in their own yeah. ship got it so okay so we destroy the planet with pollution then we travel in, interstellar Prime. travel to yes. another planet that's habitable. Oh, I love, okay. by the way, that part of the way that is explained is long lines leading to, like, space shuttles. Yeah. Right. As, if, Giant, like, as if, like, okay, everybody, <laughs> get in line. We're all getting on our rocket ship uh, it's, to it's, go into outer space. But it was like, it looks like Disney World. It right. was it was just like, okay, yeah, we'll send that one yep. up and the next one will come. Yep. It's like a subway line. Or exactly. We're, we're probably going to have to make multiple trips. <laughs> So, so we get to this other planet, and then finally, uh, presumably, someone has scouted this planet out, and they've tested it. Yes, you we would can hope. live there. Yeah. So eventually, it's time, like, yes, let's bring all human beings to this planet. Everyone is brought to the planet, and then these aliens decide we're going to wipe everybody out. I think so. But yeah. then they didn't wipe everybody out because it seemed like their planet – I mean, I guess – the the alien attack must have stopped because they were in very nice apartment buildings. And yeah, I think they, they were, were under. Beautiful- I think they were in some sort of like war situation with these things because he's out in the field doing these missions and blah blah right. blah. But on a different planet, it seemed like. I, I yeah, that's it true. I'm not like, sure. It didn't but when seem he's like fighting, there's an imminent threat in yeah, their apartment, I, their apartment complex. Seemed no, like- I agree with that. But there is that scene where he's introduced and he's like got his yeah. sword and he just like walks right up to the the, the Ursa and just cuts it in half. Ursa's and that's alien. like the same kind of that looked like the same geography as the planet. I don't know why I care about this. <laughs> I'll be By the way, so weird, none of though, this has anything to do past five minutes of the movie. movie the no. first but, half. But here's the question, though: Why were they bringing this alien Ursa outside to, of the? Well, planet? they explained that they were tra- they were going to bring it to another planet to use it for ghosting exercises. Oh, oh I, I, see. See. Yeah. I see. Yes, okay. so and they were transporting the alien to do testing on it. Did they did they establish that anyone else besides Will Smith was successful at ghosting? No, <laughs> that was the thing that was really interesting. He seemed to be, and, and by ghosting, he also has lost all emotions. Yes. It seems mm-hmm. like he has no, like, like so he is emotionless, which is a tough thing for a movie to have two characters, <laughs> one without emotions and the other one without an acting partner. Yeah. So you, <laughs> and you they really are, are putting, you're stacking the deck against these people yeah, in a major way. The, it, it really is like a robot talking to a robot. Like mm-hmm. it, it is very through uh, a, a TV monitor. Yes, like that's the thing is like Jaden's got a TV monitor on his wrist, and Will has TV monitors in front of him, and the the whole movie basically their spaceship spaceship Crashes. crash lands on Earth. It's very much like Lost. There's a tail section and there's uh, the front section. And no Michelle Rodriguez. No, and there's no <laughs> Michelle Rodriguez. There is no others. Um, but uh, uh, Will Smith is monsters. hurt. They need to uh, fire a beacon to get saved. So he sends Jaden Smith a cr- 100 kilometers across Earth's, a- a- apparently across every climate of Earth known. Yes, yes. They, uh, end the up, part. they end up on the worst possible place, the planet Earth, <laughs> yep. yes. where, as Will Smith explains, <laughs> everything, every living creature on this planet has evolved to kill human beings. <laughs> why? <laughs> Who knows? Don't know about human, Don't know why. Humans, by the way, us. aren't even us. there anymore. Yeah. And, and, uh, and that's not true from what we saw. <laughs> nope, no. those bison seemed pretty cool. The bison oh, seemed fine. There the, was a bird. The there, pigs. There is now, there is now <laughs> this utopia of animals yep. where every type of animal lives in the same place. Yep. Bison's There's came. bisons, hyenas. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Giant like, birds. Gigantic birds. Gigantic birds. Now, gigantic birds. birds. I don't right. mean to Tigers. Po- I don't. I don't mean to Possums, poke holes in any of the logic of this movie. But it was established in the beginning that Will Smith was a part of this Ranger Corps that helped them move to the new planet. Mm-hmm. So arguably, Will Smith is not that old. You know, he's probably in his 50s, right? He's old enough to have a 19-year-old daughter and yeah. a six-year-old son. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, roughly— yeah, Why did she have to be 19, by the way? I thought that was a strange choice. It was like, an interesting age. Yeah, but, it's just like, just make her, like, 16. Yeah, 19. Or 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 19 is a weird age. So anyway, he, yeah. but so he did all this. So you would imagine at the most, Earth has been uninhabited for 
20 plus <laughs> right. years. That didn't even occur to me. no sign <laughs> yeah. of anything. Yeah. No sign of... Uh, Cars or roads or anything. No sign that people were ever there. there. It's as yeah. if, like, like, the entirety of humanity it, it, it would it has gone, obviously, but had never been there. Never, and As if the world had, like, rebooted. And I get, like, yeah. I am legend, like, oh, grass may have grown up through, like, the Empire State Building or something like that. But there is nothing... There's no... Yeah. There's... Not, not even a rem. Like he doesn't even walk by a car body. There's nope. nothing that. Yeah. Oh, nope. this used to be a house, but he does fall into a pit of Native American art. It's oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. He's f- <laughs> find some cave paintings. It's also uh, in in this say two decade span. Uh, brand new animals have evolved. Yep. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> there's modern like uh, pterodactyls. Mm-hmm. There's yes. like these giant buzzard eagle creatures. Then there's also these lion tiger yep. monsters. Yes, that uh, they they love to eat birds. Yep. <laughs> They and love baby birds. They love eating baby birds. Baby, baby. <laughs> and for the majority of it, he seems to be in like a redwood forest. Yes. Uh, and yeah. then there's a giant volcano. But here's yeah. my here's that my... he gets to that he climbs to the top of in about half a day. Oh, oh, and not then, even and, and, it, quicker. I felt. I felt like he did that in a run. I feel like yeah. that was like a twenty minute run. I, I, and an extreme. There's an extreme winter neighborhood. Yes. No, no, and he just at, crosses the line into night, instantly succumbs to hypothermia. No, it's, a, it's a, at a certain time the the world Every becomes. Night, his dad yeah. explains it. It becomes inhabitable, and you have to be in a hot spot, oh, or you'll freeze oh, to I death. See, I see. But so at that time, he has to. And then, I'm then, gonna say something about these hot spots too. Yeah. The, <laughs> hot spots. the one time we see him, like, really have to confront, like, he's running out of oxygen, or something's happening, and he needs to get into a hot spot. The bird picks him up and drags him over. His hot spot in this freezing cold weather is like there's a couple leaves on him. No, and the, the bird, bird is yeah, on bird, top of him. The bird was the I hot spot. I didn't realize the, the bird, bird was on top of him. The bird kept bird. him That's under his wing. The bird would have made a nest around him. The That's bird gorgeous. sacrificed itself for him. To Spoiler save James alert, guys. I didn't understand that. I didn't know why to the which bird died. It was probably the leaky I didn't know why the bird died either. <laughs> and then yeah. it froze to death. Too cold. Too cold. Too cold. To which Jaden went over and said, hey, thanks to that bird. <laughs> too cold? Too cold. Too yeah. cold. That's a bird was too cold. But it was wow. still all green there. It, because the cold had, because in the morning. <laughs> it got warm it, again. It, it gets warm again and everything comes back to life. So Remember I, all the things would close because yes. it was getting cold? Oh, yeah. that's why they were doing that. Yeah. Okay. But I would all also right. argue. All the plants and stuff were. Why does this need to be Earth? Why couldn't it have just been a planet? You wouldn't have had to uh, listen to any of these rules because there was nothing. If this movie was like on, you know, Xeno 5, fine. Yeah, I buy it. Like, here's a crazy creature. Like, it was no, it wasn't like Earth evolved. It wasn't like you saw anything of Earth. Well, if anything, the movie posits the idea that without humanity, like, the, the, the planet would flourish, you know? Yeah, yes. a lot better. Uh, yeah. uh, it would be a lot better place, except that the uh, the air quality is bad. Yeah, you air quality. You have to breathe in a special inhaler in order to be able to what breathe is, Which the, is the Which the is so air. odd, though, because <laughs> the plant life is amazing. Yeah. yeah. So the, 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 see, the, I wasn't <laughs> getting that the air quality was bad. I thought that they just had been away from oxygen for so long or whatever that I kind of thought that, that too their okay. maybe yeah. that's it maybe that's it because okay. there was so much uh, okay then th- that makes sense I that's think fine. we can all agree that was not explained <laughs> clearly <laughs> yeah <laughs> Can we just talk about, uh, if we're talking about formality in husband and wives uh, with June and I. We should talk about Will Smith and his <laughs> and his wife. Oh, my God. When, remember Smith, when she comes in, when he comes in, rather, with a necklace and it scares her? <laughs> yeah. Remember when she is, <laughs> she is she's legitimately oh. afraid of him approaching her with a necklace. Yeah. She, she's, first of all, she's doing, like, uh, this dumb future thing where what it's like it's some three dimensional um, display in of front thing. of her and she it looks like she's designing something like a yeah. building or I something like that I thought she was like, like an architect or something yeah and she's then he tubular, comes she does tubular design <laughs> turbine designs <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> that's what she does turbine so designs he walks in in the background and she hurriedly like makes this display disappear why and, I, I don't why? know but she reacts with <laughs> fear instantly. it's almost like she was caught planning a surprise party yeah she's and like then, as if as if she's going as if he's gonna be like were you fucking working <laughs> is that what you were doing and it's like an abusive relationship where he's like you don't work when I'm home where's our dinner pills <laughs> and he tries to slap over the hologram but he just can't get through it <laughs> so then he comes up behind her and he puts this <laughs> neck that's around her neck that's like a hacky sack on a chain I thought it looked like a, a circular 
rock in a net. Like yeah. it was like so. Nothing. It did not look comfortable but at it, all. But it comes into her field of vision, and she jumps a <laughs> mile into the air, and then has to very quickly pretend like this is a great thing that's happening. Oh. Oh my God! Well, there's so many things I want to talk about in this movie, but that relationship is. And then the, the woman, the wife, is like, "We'll take your son out on this on this trip. It's going to be good." But before they leave, <laughs> this is the thing that I love. It's so futuristic. They're not like living like in the Terminator Two style world. Like, yeah, it's not a dystopia. No, yeah. they are clearly there is something flourishing in this community. Um, and then he, as Will Smith is getting on board the ship to go, he is greeted by a man oh God. in a futuristic <laughs> wheelchair, which is way more complicated than a real wheelchair. <laughs> it's like a seat on a graviton thing. Yep. It looked so bulky. It was like, ah, wheelchairs were too simple. How Re- Requires two people to push it. Yes, two people. <laughs> and then you can't get out of it either. Like, yeah, exactly. So you would think like in the future, maybe they just put like a small jetpack on your waist and you can kind of stand up and walk around. Like in a world in which like they can jump off of cliffs and fly. Fly, they have like, suits you that would can think, fly. Because all that was wrong with that man was that he had lost one leg. Yeah. Yes. That was it. And one I, leg. And then he was like, stand me up. Stand me up to the, his, the two <laughs> men. So the two of them labor difficulty to get him on his one, one leg, leg. <laughs> which is would not be that hard. It really yeah. wouldn't be. So that he can salute Will Smith. Right. And by the way, <laughs> it's the future. They should probably have. We have prosthetics now. Yes, oh, yeah. Exactly. We have prosthetics now. Like we don't really have, good ones. Yeah. Here's what else we have. Crutches. Yeah. <laughs> we have, <laughs> there's like so many things. <laughs> well, here's, the, here's the thing. Like, I feel like they, they wrote that moment in because they were so... Because that moment really only serves at the end moment when Will Smith stands up because he's got, you know, a, a leg problem. He stands up for his son and says, get me up, get me up. And he salutes yeah. his son as the son comes in. But it's so weird that they did that because it was almost like you could tell they were nervous that the end moment wouldn't play unless we had seen someone yeah. <laughs> unless we saw a, salute unless, him. It's unless like, we saw a soldier <laughs> get up out of being very uncomfortable <laughs> to give a salute. Like, that wouldn't so have a, an emotional resonance. Right. <laughs> like, by the way, his father is, like, the head of this organization and his son saved his life. Spoiler alert, that's the end. But, like, so it wouldn't have an emotional resonance if the father, like, salutes his Standing son. Up, like, it works. Still if you absolutely. just say that, it works. It, like, you don't need to see. It also... I I think it would have worked more at the end if the guy didn't have so much trouble getting up yes. from the chair. <laughs> yeah. It would have had more of an impact that Will Smith is struggling, struggling to make to this up. happen. Oh, <laughs> so stupid. And, also, and the guy, it was even harder for him to sit back down yeah. in the wheelchair. They, they oh, couldn't, and then they couldn't why was that back? more difficult? Like he was yeah. almost like, he was like a board, like stiff as a board. Like he yeah. kind of went back, like he had no bending ability whatsoever. Like, oh, he's Burrowing his head into that other guy's neck. <laughs> By the way, M. Night, here's like, I mean, you can say a lot of things have about Have we said M. Night. this night, uh, this movie is directed by M. Night uh, We have not. And I what think, a twist. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have waited until the end. I was, did you know what? I thought there was going to be a twist in this movie because in the very beginning of the movie when the ship is crashing Will Smith is in front of Jaden and he's like he's like calming him down he's like whispering him to him and he's like okay and then Will Smith gets sucked out of the ship and I was like oh this is all in the boy's head the entire time his dad and he made up the whole mission oh in that, order I, to oh that would have been interesting and that's what I thought no it, <laughs> it was not been. yeah well not only does he okay so Will Smith gets sucked away this, this that was ship a great is, moment the ship is yeah. crashing because uh, Will Smith noticed by holding a keychain up to yeah. the wall <laughs> that there's some specific kind of radiation or something that's going to cause this. <laughs> it's just so convoluted. <laughs> it's somehow going to cause an that. asteroid storm Correct. to happen, right? Yes. yes. Okay. It, with the crew is like, eh, I don't know. That's that's pretty impossible. Yeah. And he's like, eh, I think it's going to happen. And then it happens. And so, by the way, wait, wait, Will Smith never did any of this with any sort of panels knowledge. It was just no. r- simply the keychain. Against the he wall. gets yeah. out of his seat, looks quizzical, walks over to the window, holds the thing against the window, and it go- and it vibrates against the window, and then he goes to the cockpit and is like, we're about to hit it's, an asteroid can I, storm. Can I tell you what I thought was happening in that moment? I didn't know any of this. I thought <laughs> that he woke up because his son was next to him when he fell mm-hmm. asleep. And when he woke up and, and did that thing with the keychain, I thought he was listening in on a conversation and could hear that oh, his no. son was like about to go try to ghost with that. Also, would have been more interesting. <laughs> we also, by the way, didn't even talk about the 
the, those guys in the sun. If the sun is kind of exploring the ship, and there's a big sign that says "Don't enter, <laughs> don't go in here," and he walks yeah, right in. He, yeah. he, he walks through this this like wheat yeah. curtain. It, there are no doors <laughs> in like, the future. Yeah, there are no doors, no doors. in the future. It's yeah. all curtains and <laughs> and and mesh panels <laughs> and everything is. There are everything, literally no doors. Everything in this movie was. <laughs> like, I guarantee M Night was like, you know what? You know what's different about my movie? No <laughs> doors. <Doorless. laughs> there, everything in this movie it's also looked gross future. to touch. It was all like, like squishy, like pla- like it was all like. And when anything yeah. exploded, like the two halves of the spaceship, both of them after the post crash, are just billowing white like a fabric. <laughs> it looked like a toilet paper exploded it, yeah, all that's over what the it place. Looked. I was like, ah, this makes no sense. It, it was as if the ship crashed and, and its <laughs> sails were everywhere. Yeah. As if it was yeah. a spaceship. Ship that had By sails. The way, it made Earth, no sense. Earth was covered <clears throat> with some of yep. those white sheets yes. as well. Yes. Everything looked like a kind of futuristic pool umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it was, it was like sun shield or something. <laughs> it made no sense. Oh, so oh, yes, they're crashing, and then, uh, but we must talk about the ghosting. Um, they're crashing, and um, so Will Smith's trying to calm Jaden Smith down. Then he gets sucked away, and then a few seconds later, uh, this the the ship splits in half and these people get sucked out the other side uh, yes. of of uh, Jaden Smith's field of vision. So then, at, after they finally crash, he goes to look for his dad. He just goes like to the other end of the thing and he's, he's there. He's right fine. There. Yeah, how did that? Right there. Yeah, his dad got like. How by the way, he when wasn't you saw, strapped in. How did he not get? When you saw Will Smith get sucked away, like he got sucked away like on loss, like, like, like so like, hard. Like, it looked so like hard he was going through a wormhole. Yeah, yeah. like it, that's how far and deep. <laughs> And Wait, it just seemed like a he was- wormhole. So you think? So you felt as though perhaps he was traveling through space and time. <laughs> He was going really quick and really. <laughs> but by the way, fast. he. I mean, if you would, if you would argue the ship is a tube, when he, the way that he got sucked through that. It went for he went from one end to the other, and the way that they positioned it in the movie is like he went a foot <laughs> to the left. Like yeah. really, that is. It a, was as if they were in at the safe the, zone. Yeah. yeah, it was as if they were at the end <laughs> of a vacuum cleaner, and someone turned it on, and you would think Will Smith would have gone all the way into the bag. Yeah, but he was around the corner. But he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was just stuck he was in just the, around the corner. He's just stuck in a corner. I, I don't pretend to know a lot about spaceships, <laughs> but I think if you're around a corner, yep. yeah, I don't, I don't know from spaceships By the way, I it helps me. For me, it helps me to think of the spaceship as a vacuum cleaner. Sure. <laughs> How, by the way, what a better movie would it have been if Will Smith was on one side of the ship and he was on the other side and he had to get to his dad. Ooh, I love this. Yeah. And, and same thing. because See, ba- I actually, I, I did like the basic conceit of the movie and the story that they were. I mean, we'll, I guess we'll get to Scientology in, in a second or I two. <laughs> okay. But just the basic sort of setup of the movie and him and his dad being – you know, his dad falling apart on the ship and him travel and all of that stuff and getting back to his father and his own fears. Like, I thought that that was actually a really compelling story and really good. There's nothing wrong with there's, these basic ideas. Yeah, yes. there's nothing, nothing wrong with the basic ideas. It's, just the, every, it's very similar. We were talking about this afterwards. The The movie is very similar to the movie Oblivion uh, in a lot of ways. In, a, in the uh, future, Earth is dead, but there are some people on it that need to survive against aliens that are hunting them, blah, 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 blah. Like, it is, like a, in a lot of ways, beat for beat, very similar, except for... Uh, spoilers for Oblivion. It's the fucking stupidest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Do you think that like Will Smith and Tom Cruise had like a dinner together and they both kind of like got excited about an idea and they both went like it's almost like <laughs> a game called, of tele- called people like write this because this movie at the end did not realize this story by Will Smith. Oh yeah, this is a story by Will oh. Smith co-written by M Night. Not even it's not an M Night original. And also was this movie all shot in Philadelphia? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think M Night Shyamalan is not allowed to do what he wants anymore, right? Right. Yes. It's like that's been that pri- those privileges in, have been taken he's away. He's in director jail. Yeah. I think. No yeah. more twists. You yeah. can't set everything in Philly, so it's got to be you just direct this thing, make it look good. Yes. Right. Don't right. screw but, this and, up, and just take out everything that's uh, charismatic about your actors. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. he has an amazing. I've watched Will Smith. I like Will Smith. Uh, I think, and I, and I think, I don't know, I haven't watched Karate Kid, but it seems to me that Jaden is also charismatic. He did everything he could to make them 
the least charismatic. Like this is the least it's charismatic. So flat. Yeah. It's, it's so, so flat. flat. And there is so little in by way of action too. Like I feel like the the alien that you're always afraid is gonna be after Jaden Smith only shows up in the last five minutes. It's not like and there are a couple of things like where the big bird gets him. Oh my god, when he Okay, okay. Guys, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. <laughs> he's, 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 he's adjusting flying. The mic. He jumps off of a cliff and he's flying in his flying suit. Mm-hmm. And then the giant bird. Which is like a sort of flying squirrel kind of exactly. thing. Yes, yes. Exactly. Like a base jumping suit or something. Yeah. Um, Which he's never done before. And he runs <laughs> off, I would say, like a 500 foot high cliff. Even probably even yeah. higher because he's well, flying. Well, first what happens is he's, li- oh, I don't know if I don't explain so much, but like <laughs> he's, he's running out of inhalers so that he can breathe on the planet. He's lying to his dad. His dad, at this moment, make or break, realizes he only has two inhalers left, and he does with he instantly oh, pushes a this button. This is amazing. <laughs> he pushes the button. The dad is in like the um in the, the uh, in the cockpit of the the crashed spaceship with so two broken legs. Two broken. One legs. One of them broken very bad. Very bad. <laughs> he does not appear to feel pain. Oh, because well, but he's, he's not gonna... taking the painkillers. Well, because the pain medication uh, clearly <laughs> says in giant letters on the front. Like what? Uh, Giant what? LED impair, letters. Well, it Cause will impair vision. Drowsiness. And drows- <laughs> cause extreme drowsiness. Extreme drowsiness. Extreme drowsiness. <laughs> it's a giant pillbox. It's like, oh, oh, it's it's so like a display. With like yeah, a, with an like LED, a, display yeah, yeah, yeah. LED display on it. Everything has LED displays. Anyway, so he realizes Jaden only has two things left, and he pushes a button, and it instantly maps out how far Jaden needs to walk to get to the tail of the plane, and it says... <laughs> And it's measured <laughs> in much. vials. Yeah, it's measured many? in inhalers. Yeah. So it's like tick, 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 like the little red line three in the in the joints. And it says three point <laughs> one five inhalers. <laughs> and then it's like then he puts it in again, and it says, oh, but if he jumps off of the waterfall, sky jump. If, if he, he sky, sky jumps. jumps, then he can make it in two point one inhalers. <laughs> And Will Smith... Uh, the only and, successful route. Yes. <laughs> and also, by the way, uh, Jaden does not know anything about the sky jump. No. It has not been revealed to him. He does not... Like, oh, he, also hasn't been revealed to us. Yes. Like, this is, this is yes. all this brand thing. new that this is a thing. <laughs> so basically, him and his dad get into his fight where the, the dad kind of says, yeah, you are responsible for my 19-year-old daughter getting killed because yeah. he's hitting that terrarium, <laughs> you little jerk. And he goes, I'm going to do Which, it. Which, by I'm the gonna... way, can I just say one other thing? I, I actually found that pretty offensive because <laughs> yeah. this idea... Yeah, that just because he's a man, he as a, a, oh, a well, child, here's the thing. he should have gotten out and protected her. Wait, this did, is the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Did everybody think that? I thought that that was what Jaden was afraid the father thought, but it wasn't really what Will Smith thought. I think well, Will Smith, Will Smith he, he certain, did not seem to be talking him no, out of that. Yeah. No, he was like, he's like, you, you, he goes, he goes, are you upset with me because I didn't save my daughter? He was like. All that matters is what you, how you feel about that situation, not what I. <laughs> yeah. It's like the craziest is that, thing. Is, is that I think Scientology? That's Scientology. Oh. Is that like? Is that Scientology? So. I think that's what that is because uh. I think it's really it's like this isn't about what I think about you, Jaden. This isn't about what I think happened. This is a, you need Personal to decide for yourself and, yeah. what you think is right. You know. Uh, anyway, okay, so Jaden so. jumps off the but cliff. But at the same time, leap of it's faith. Like, at the, st- at the same you? time, I mean, as the mother kept on saying to him, like, he, your son feels very guilty yeah. yeah 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 i mean why wouldn't he say you know you had nothing to do with yes yeah, you're a six-year-old dad. child yeah. you're a and, child. and you're my son and fighting, i'm glad you're not dead yeah fighting which a you would have been tall you beast been dead. a 12 foot tall beast versus a five-year-old kid well and not <laughs> going to do a good job but considering that when we ever see these five foot tall beasts they're ripping apart humans non-stop oh and the beast ate a bunch didn't even eat just ripped off monkey heads oh, yeah, yeah he found a b- the beast found a bunch of monkeys just ripped their heads and arms off <laughs> The, the, also, the the so the first encounter Jaden has with uh, the the with life on Earth is these baboons. Yes. Um, oh, this is crazy. That uh, he he tries to scare this one baboon off by throwing. <laughs> Rock but wait a second! Don't you, don't you think like so? That baboon kind of comes. It's just a monkey. It's not even doing anything too crazy. And Jaden, who has shown no sign of aggression or anything, like he's kind of like the dad's like, "Hey, just 
chill out, chill out over yes. here, hang out. And Take he's like, uh, immediately, he's like, no, I'm going to take this rock and throw it in that monkey's <laughs> face. Only angering the monkey. There is no way oh, yeah. that that would have worked. Yeah. No. Anyone well, would know that. I think that. that was to show he is fearful. Yes. That's the thing. He's chosen fear. He's chosen oh, fear. And that he's fear. fear. He's fearful and he, he's acting out. That's like when he then is being chased by the monkeys. And outrunning them. Outrunning by them. A, by a good margin. Well, in we their, in, on their home turf. On their home turf. <laughs> We've established he's a very good runner. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. I forgot. That was established yeah. Yeah. that he beat Will Smith's record in some marathon. Yeah. Uh, so he can outrun these wild animals. And a, pa- a giant pack of like them. Oh, yeah. of yeah. them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thousands of them. Oh, yeah. Thousands of baboons it's yeah. like that chasing scene. him. And all he has to do is go into water. Yeah. And they are like, oh, oh no, 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 no. Water. no Somehow Will you. Smith knows. Run to the river. <laughs> baboons, they'll never, they'll never <laughs> enter a river. They're By the way. Of water. By the yeah. way, that's why you never see a picture from National Geographic <laughs> of a baboon just sitting in a fucking river. Well, because they hate water. They hate it. They hate it. Um, here's the other thing. If you were to map out his journey, he's on so many detours all oh, the yeah. time. He doesn't have no map. <laughs> he, has he has no, no map, map and no He doesn't know where he's going. The only thing he does is when he's in the cave, he draws a map for himself. Which is a straight line. Which is a, which is a timeline. <laughs> straight line. It's basically a timeline. <laughs> it's a timeline, yes. What else happened? Uh, I saw those hogs by that cave. <laughs> and and he is in the cave with the caveman drawings. That existed, oh, so he got to walk so by. So crazy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, but oh, wait a second. So, yes. I, I, so he jumps off the cliff he's flying and a giant bird like some sort of enormous bird picks him up or grabs him is chasing very him very much like Lord of the Rings style yeah, I guess yes. yeah like an enormous bird and then he blacks out right yes. the, the feed goes <laughs> oh, I forgot the feed that. goes dead and in my mind I thought to myself if he wakes up in a giant bird's nest, I'm gonna <laughs> lose my mind. And guys, he wakes up in a giant, giant, a giant it's as like, big as our, it's bird's as big nest. As our home. It is a, uh, it is you, a, you can it is a one wall. bedroom bird's nest. <laughs> yeah. you can. And, and oh, and oh, and then oh, when he's woken, and there are hatched birds, hatched yeah. tiny birds. He's Brand woken. New. Well, they're not even too tiny because the bird nest is so large. They yeah. just they're tiny in comparison. But the bird kind of starts pecking at Jaden's face like hey man get out of here bird uh, and then lions come and attack them lions climb Immediately. up a, like I would say easily a 60 foot tall tree a lot of them to get some baby bird snacks yep uh, and they're all climbing <laughs> to be fair they did just kill the baby birds they did not eat them Oh, this that's is again true. like every every living creature in this movie just, just kills. kills that's all it does everything wants to murder nothing wants to eat yeah uh, and Jaden has to have a fight in a bird's nest, which was a great scene. Him and the bird work in tandem together. So you know, he'll, he'll get, <laughs> you get the, take the <laughs> inside. I'll take the outside. Why? He, gets, so he, why works the, the... he works a lion towards the exit of the bird's nest, and the bird sits the in, and pulls that out, and throws him down. <laughs> like I've never seen. I've never it seen. Becomes a two hander. Why? I would have watched that movie. Jaden so, and the bird. <laughs> guess what? You got a new partner. As long as it's not a giant bird, <laughs> it is. Oh shit. Oh, and also... Karate Kid and Giant Bird. Before, when he's trying to escape from the bird, he flies into a waterfall, which the bird is like, uh-uh. Yeah, yeah. No. So the kid, All these like, animals, animals they Everything's water. terrified of water. Terrified of water. I couldn't figure out for the life of me why the only weapon available in the future <laughs> is a sword. Yeah. It's basically a two-edged sword. It's ba- it's kind of like Darth Maul's lightsaber yes, yeah. in that both sides are blades. Um, but it has... And the blades can separate... Has in, 29 sword settings. It's like a Swiss Army sword. <laughs> yeah. It has yeah, it can a turn million. Into like a hoe. Yeah. A yeah. Si- <laughs> it can turn into a scythe. Yeah. It, it can was turn a into like a, a, a. The last one, it turns into like a drill bit yeah, or something. Yeah. And, and it kind of can be. A, is it like a scroll too? I, I thought he I read something on it at one I point. I just. Too. I couldn't Ugh. figure. I was like, are there I really not. not really awesome guns? Like, oh, yeah, shoot no guns. Everything. But, no guns, just swords. Everybody's I, battling I thought that horrifying way, things, and their <laughs> weapon of choice is something you need to use close up. Yeah, and, exactly. and by the way, like, it's, oh, it's, it's only point. close contact fighting. And it seemed like it was. I my gut is it had to be a hologram because oh, he's like use my sword. He called something else, but he's like use my my my, my sword, cutlass, my cutlass. But it like but there couldn't have been those blades inside there. So I feel like they must have been 
hologram projections of weapons. Wait, are we trying or, to figure out the science of this? <laughs> it might be sloppy filmmaking. Uh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that did, it didn't even occur to me. <laughs> yeah, that's just, it's just stupid. Yeah, oh. It's just stupid. Just, it's extremely it's dumb. It's sort of like saying we're not allowed to make it made out of light because somebody else already did that. <laughs> yes. So Guys, yeah, we, can we talk about the moment where we'll, as Will Smith is dealing with both, he loses contact with Jaden at one point, <laughs> yes. and he's also really in a lot out of pain that's yes. almost making him pass out blinding just like white pain yes we're monitoring his yes. medical progress the whole time he, well, Will he tries bad. to do Will a is, bypass on himself <laughs> Will is doing surgery on himself and it's not successful and it, for it, it was so complicated what he must have had to have done because he had to attach a tube into an artery yep. and then attach the other half of the tube to the other artery to connect his that's and he did that all by sitting and not really I he had a bloody understand. scalpel. He had a bloody scalpel. Okay, yeah. but during these, during the when we cut back to him, he's having these flashbacks of his daughter, his nineteen-year-old daughter, and as he's like coming in and out of them, he keeps on saying no, no, no. Oh yeah. Are we supposed to understand? Well, I guess we should talk about the moment where he, during a flashback. He's up in battle, and she's at home celebrating a birthday. <laughs> she wants him to blow out the candles. Oh, by, yeah, the, by the, the way, they're the, like eye chatting. That's Zoe Kravitz. They're face Zoe Kravitz. They're face Zoe Kravitz. FaceTiming. So she says, Dad, blow out the candles through FaceTime. <laughs> and he says, no, I can't do it. He says, no, you know that won't work. You know that won't work. She's 19 years old. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, this is a nineteen. This, this is like, this is a woman. Like yeah. this is something beyond humoring yeah. age. This is yeah. something yeah. like yes. I do with my nieces who are six, <laughs> like who don't quite wrap their minds around the fact that like we can't actually connect over IG. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay, but then the mother comes into frame and says, "Come on, blow out the candles," and right. they're all laughing. Blow out the candles, Dad. Blow out the candles, and then he does. Right. And the candles do get blown out. Because whoa, 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 wait, 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 no, no, wait. No, no, hang no. on, hang on, hang on. Wait, June, what do you think happened? <laughs> Oh, wait a second. I want to see what you think. Oh, yeah. no. June, what do you think? Did you really not catch? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Tell us your best <laughs> guess of what oh, happened. I'll tell you what I happened. <laughs> no wrong answers. There's no okay. wrong answers. All right. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm, okay. I'm going to be fearless. I'm yeah, going to take yeah. a knee and just be totally Fear's honest with what happened. Be fearless. Right. I thought that Will Smith had totally like control had gotten to a place where he had such mind control and power. In his mind. Good, good. Continue. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. <laughs> to the screen. What happened? <laughs> okay. What happened was after the candles were blown out. Oh my god. A second later. His son came a, into a, frame. Came into frame. He blew out. The <laughs> <laughs> His son was behind the camera. His son was behind the camera. That was the joke. And then he came around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, oh I, my I'm god. telling you, I didn't see that. Oh I promise god. you, I did not see that the sun came in from behind. No. All I, saw, I swear, all I saw was oh that the god. sun appeared. Yeah, because he'd been off camera blowing well, out the candles. Was, okay, can we just. Uh, now, this. <laughs> this. That was unclear, is what you just said? <laughs> to, to one out of four moviegoers, it was unclear. It's unclear. Uh, I mean, can, there is a lot that is confusing that in this is movie. Not that was not a prank. That was not a prank. Was not confusing. I um, honestly thought that the whole movie was okay. about like oh, mind over matter. You can oh, do it God. if you can think it. And I was like, well, well, I guess it he, kind of is. It yes, kind of is. Absolutely. I was like, well, I that guess is he a can female blow movie. Out <laughs> um, <laughs> screen. I don't know. Uh, Paul and Jason got to experience <laughs> oh, something <laughs> that is very rare. Uh, which oh. is June at a movie, oh. uh, and you got to see a couple of the outbursts that oh, happened. A bunch of big scares. <laughs> there was one very big scare. Where yeah. she hit me and <laughs> threw her pencil <laughs> across the movie theater. <laughs> what? It's like, we're, and we're in a movie theater that has maybe six other people in it. <laughs> and there is a, there is a jump scare um, in yes. the movie that is effective, two. I thought. There was a good jump scare. I mean, it was a good jump scare. But June's reaction was... 
complete it, like, heart. Complete as it, like as if she had been suddenly <laughs> put into like a paranormal activity style. Movie. As if this person had appeared in the seat next to her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Keep in mind, was pulling her down to an underworld because <laughs> because of June's <laughs> leaky eye, she was also seated one <laughs> empty seat away from us. <laughs> I was too close to everybody. I was blowing my nose. It was too much. <laughs> what was the other big scare that you had? You had another. Oh fuck. Like moment. <laughs> it may have been when he was I doing it. I think it was it. when the alien appeared. Uh, there are a couple scares in this movie. There are a couple big scares. <laughs> <laughs> the aliens, by the way, are terrifically strong. Like oh, they can yeah. cut, cut through rock. Oh, yeah. Like just anything oh. that's in their way, they just tear through it. They, and they seem to be able to climb. They, yeah. be able, they, they, have, they can do it all. They're kind of indestructible. But now in the beginning of that movie, Will Smith, when he's a ghost – uh, or ghosting, he just kind of takes a sword, stabs one, falls down. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Jaden Smith is fighting this one that looks smaller than that one. Yeah, and he has <laughs> and they, like it's nonstop stabbing, like yeah, in the is. head, and yeah, the, he, stabs he cuts it off everywhere. a leg. Yep. Like it's like that. That did not slow down. Wait, I'm so, one more question about the candle thing. Then why? If, <laughs> oh if it was his son, then why was Will Smith the whole time like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to because he was embarrassed in front of his because he knew. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, he didn't dumb. know his son was there. He didn't want to go through the charade of protecting Pretending to do this in front of his cool army buddy. Yeah, yeah. they were like, okay, all right. He just said they <laughs> were enough. showing. They were showing Fair that enough. he has no sense of fun. Yeah. He's a shitty dad. He's yeah, like got but, a meanwhile, but, right but, me- <laughs> but meanwhile, out in the middle of battle, when they have another flashback, he's like having an eye chat with his daughter, and like he's like on oh. guard. Like it looks like an oh, alien wait, is wait, coming wait. over a ridge. Okay, wait, but so, even something crazier. Oh, even the mold, crazier yes. happens. So she holds up. They're eye chatting, yeah, uh, or FaceTiming or whatever. He's uh, on a like a bluff, yeah. you know, like patrolling or whatever. And she says, "Look, uh, a guy at school found this," and yeah. she holds up a book, the Moby yeah. Dick. His book. favorite book. Yes, his yeah, and she's, and like, she's and got a real book. And she's like, and books. it's a real book. And and he's like, oh, that's amazing. And she she and he go, she says, what did she say? He, she, she, he, he said I could. He hold said on I could hold it. it or touch hold it. it. He, he said, said I, no, I wrote it hold down. On to he it. said I could hold on to it. Yes. And then there's a beat. And then Will Smith says, hold on to what? Yeah. And then I realized, oh my God, they're making. A they're dick actually making joke. a dick, dick joke. As if she would say to her dad. He lent me this book, and all I had to do was touch his dick. <laughs> Hold on to it. So Just, weird he about said the I, movie, he, though. It's like, there. that's a moment. I mean, Will Smith is a very charming actor yeah. who can land comedic moments. Oh, not That's here. what is so weird about this movie. Is like, yeah. the moments of forced levity of even that sucked and, and that beat of yeah. Hold On To It are so and she's like, strange. And dad. Yeah. You and, know, then, like, and then there was another moment, the birthday cake. But we all know she's sexually the, active. The, the blow moment. <laughs> well, yeah, she was 19. She's getting she's it like, right she's, all the time. She's, def- she's a ranger. By the way, though, that was a little creepy, though. It's like she's playing this little girl. She's 19 years old. Like she was required to be sort of all over the place developmentally. Yes. Yeah, that's true. I guess she was younger in some of the flashbacks. But she was a ranger. No, I don't think she was. I I think think they just had her acting that way. I think they just had her acting. I I feel like, yeah, I feel like they. You think all the flashbacks were from the same time period? I think they were from the same weekend. (laughs) (laughs) Well, because the little boy had a birthday. The little boy was was killed. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much true, actually. Yeah, Yeah. she was killed on her birthday weekend. Uh, Uh, (laughs) After finishing Moby Dick and giving a hand job. (laughs) And wasn't it also weird though? Like, and maybe I'm reading into this, but I think we all laughed when she did say "blow it out, blow it" or something. There was like a weird blow. Yeah, yeah. Like it was. I think I don't know if they were going for a joke, but it felt awkward. Also, I have to say the the whole conceit of look at this—it's an actual book. It's from a museum. Yeah, like yeah. I, it's the laziest future oh thing you could ever do. I'm so sick of seeing oh that. And, and like, just like, yeah, he uh, he loves Moby Dick. Um, uh, I want to talk about the one line that's a great line. Uh, Jaden Smith first out in the field. He's like, Dad. My suit changed colors. Oh, yeah. I like it, but I'm nervous. Like I, I, I thought I misheard that. It was yeah. so strange, and why did he say that? I like it. He's like, I like it, I'm but... Not, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Look, hey. Don't you think he, he would have been trained? I, it's, it's even an improvement. Line, the line is even crazier. He says, my, my suit just changed the color black. I like it, but I think it's... Bad. Yeah. <laughs> it was like this oh, that's, that's right. Yeah, I like it, but I think it's bad. That, I wrote I that like down. It, yeah, but I think it's bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> By the way, can we talk about the names? We we're saying Jaden and Will. It's Cipher Rage, Kata Rage, <laughs> Fire Rage, Senshi Rage. These are R A G E. Um, the uh, 
uh, uh, which oh rage R A I G E. Okay. Whoa. Here's my question. Rage. Though, but look the, at that. Yeah, rage. Like He's if, got rage, but he called it in. If Jaden is his whole journey is about not showing fear and sort of coming to terms with like feeling danger and and hiding his fear. What is Will Smith's journey in the movie? Will Smith does not change, right? His journey in the movie is to get his son to be like him. That's what it seems to me. And because that's, that's I think, another argument we, for like the Scientology no. oh, thing. See, because I oh, thought we were being set up for him to actually feel – because it seems like what like what you said when you know he was able to not feel fear he was also stopped feeling anything mm-hmm. so it would it would follow that he would then feel love or feel be able to express it to his son which he never really does well they he hug they hug a couple times yeah. well, like that's the thing is Will Smith really doesn't change much because at the end he salutes his son yeah. yeah his son does not salute back he hugs his dad and he says dad I want to work with mom and he's and Will Smith says. I do too. And then they go off and they start working the turbine fields. <laughs> it's it like you're right. It really is like there is no learning. There is no like nobody has an arc. You know, like Jaden just is, I feel like he becomes able to ghost, but is still like a weepy because like, dad's emotion yell- emotion ridden boy. His dad dad's been hand. yelling at him the whole movie. Should, like, that's right. He should have saluted he should, back. He should have saluted back and they shouldn't have undercut that moment. Because I actually if you had, in that you would last be like, five minutes, I was really into what was happening. And if I was, he had though, you'd be like lying on the ground and the you know, the alien stepped over him. I'm like, yeah. I actually felt like they're driving us toward all this. And I got there, and then it was so undercut. By yeah. Well, it ends kind of like an old 80s movie, like an 80s like buddy cop comedy. Because yeah. like he's like, I want to work for your mom, too. And then like, Will Smith goes down. And as Paul said, they uh, they shine a lot of flashlights on him. For, <laughs> they, like, all, all the all the medical officers <laughs> just, just like start shining flashlights. The dumbest future medical technology of just like all things flashlights. with lights. It's like a cordless mouse. And they just like run all the stuff over him. <laughs> so like as he goes back down, like after he says that line, like Will Smith starts laughing like, <laughs> I want to work with mom, too. Like it's like, like, like a pan out. Like, yeah. oh boy, like the boys yeah. are back in town. <laughs> well, tonight, <laughs> there's gonna be a jailbreak. <laughs> uh, uh, and I, and it's, I, I wish remiss- Thin Lizzie would have scored this entire movie. <laughs> I'd be, I would be remiss to just mention that. The video camera technology in this movie is insane. Oh, so yeah. Will Smith mm. is watching his son. The video camera is supposedly on his back, but there are multiple times in the movie where he's seeing him. It's got a lot of angles. A lot of angles. A lot of angles. Uh, part, and also, but part of it is, I think, those drones he released yeah. are cameras that are all oh, over the place. They? So they are providing oh, and some about, of that information. And at the end of the movie, once he does kill the big Ursa or whatever, and he's oh, walking yeah. through the medical bay. There's just like a, a one cadet just watching <laughs> video footage of the movie, watching of, him destroy the Earth. I yeah. noticed that. Oh yeah, yeah. no, the, the guy, the I medical. I was just laughing at that guy's expression. No, because he's, <laughs> he, he's his expression is oh my god, it's him because he's literally <laughs> From on the thing his I'm computer. Watching. It's yes. like a YouTube video of Jaden. He's Jayden. here and oh he's here? God. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's him. Guys, that's oh him. God. That's the guy that just killed the Ursa. It's and the by video the way, I'm, I'm watching right now. And by the way, this is like a, a crew. It seems like a very small crew, like a crew of eight people that are on a rescue mission to rescue Will Smith and his son. Like, he would probably know all the details. Like, oh, yeah, because it seemed like it was all, they hadn't even left the I planet a, at that I point. I have a question. Why, when the rescue team shows up, are they in, like, hazmat suits? Because like, are they oxygen? Maybe they don't need. Just take two, take one of those inhalers. Well, you know what? <laughs> and they, you'll be better fine. Fine. They're following sorry. the rules. It was a right. class they, one I, planet. You I, couldn't I, go there. I, exactly. I, so, oh my God! Remember that when when they when they wormhole their way out of the asteroid field in the beginning, which I thought was a cool thing. And they're right in front of an oh, inhabitable. No. They're right in front of a planet. And um, and Will Smith just gets up. He notices a blinking red light. He gets up, pushes the red button, and it goes, planet uninhabitable, <laughs> severe threats to humanity. Do not land under any circumstance. The computers definitely in this movie were not, uh, they were so oh. smart and avant- like They're like, oh, here's like five steps ahead of what you're thinking. Right. There was another one where when Will Smith is plotting out the course that his son must take with the two inhalers, like what, what, are, the, what are the options here? <laughs> and it was like the sky jump this flashed on the screen. Only survivable Only options. Survivable <laughs> <round>. <laughs> oh man, uh, boy, oh boy. Any uh, any final thoughts? Any uh, the a moment that we all enjoyed 
was when Will Smith is like he's ready to pass out from broken legs. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> well, one's badly, one's, one's broken. bad, one's broken, one's, one's, one's bad. very badly broken. So he's dictating a message to <laughs> oh his wife. Oh, oh. dictates a message to his wife. Says, uh, you know, compose a message to my wife. <clears throat> to my wife, I have lost contact with our son. End message. <laughs> That's the whole. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole message. That is it. By the way, he seems to have liked his wife. He seemed to have, like he gave her a jewelry. Yeah. Like yep. he didn't seem like didn't seem like their relationship was uh, tense. No personal <laughs> message to her. And yeah. No, like, I, I love you. And by no, the nothing. Way, like they should have brought the wife in at the end too. Or why not? Something like why not? I really have the ghost of the daughter smiling in the yeah. background. Yeah. There is something like, about this. Kenobi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Reunited well, with does. the alien. She does because she is in. She's on the raft with Jaden. Yes. You know, like she does come back in a kind of like visiony dream sequence kind of scenario. That was the big scare moment with yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Face, face, face face right? So Remember, wake zombie. up. You have because, to wake yeah, up. She's like, wake up. She's telling him to wake up, and then all of a sudden she changes into like a, a mutilated version of herself. But I gotta say. She was not that mutilated. No, she no, was just a little bloody. Like she said, like a little, like looked like somebody who did like a bad Halloween costume. Like, oh, I'm a yeah. ghoul. <laughs> 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 uh, any other, any other moments before we uh, we? Call I know the it? whole thing is just like it's, and I I enjoyed it. You know, I did, but I <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I did enjoy you the did? movie. I did enjoy the movie. What did you enjoy I about it? I think Paul F did too. No, I did not. You did. <laughs> I f- this was movie was an hour and forty minutes, and it felt like forever. Oh, see, it felt like a two and a half hour movie. By the way, it, it, it felt like they were just a delaying. Grace. Like that that last fight with the alien just felt like everything is a delay up to until because of course he's going to fight that alien. He has yeah. to. Yeah. Right. And also, it, it's weird that to to you know I don't want to get too heavy about it, but it's very unpleasant to watch this little boy be afraid. I mean, what is he, 13 in the movie? Yeah. I guess because yeah. he had like a little tiny beginnings of a mustache yeah. or something. But to <laughs> well, watch then, this- in my case, he could have been not. He was, he was, <laughs> but you see, like, what, I think he was on the verge of basically being kicked out of his parents' house and being sent to live with his aunt and uncle in Bel Air. Yeah. So he was right at that age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, he's terrified through the whole movie. He just wants his dad to be his dad. And the dad is just saying, stop being afraid, you sniveling coward. Yeah. In so many words. He's basically saying, he's, don't be a pussy, yeah. man up. And then- Will Smith has this speech that that explains, and it's terribly written about oh, his yeah. in, first encounter with one of these aliens and what happened and how he just decided to not be afraid, and that was it. Now you do that. It's horrible. And by like the way, terrible when he, message. When he decides not to be afraid, he has a callback, flashback to that monologue that yeah. we just heard, yeah. uh, just a couple of scenes earlier, and he's like, okay, yeah, I guess I don't understand how he was not afraid. Oh, oh. by the way, we were talking about those computers, and uh, here's another one. When he like he sent these drones out around the planet, and the, mm-hmm. the drones are looking for the Ursa creature, and uh, and they find that dead pile of monkeys, yeah. and the computer's <laughs> like, mm, possible magic, that was what, the Ursa killed this. Right. Like, it was possible. Like, possible. signature. Yeah, Ursa. Like, yeah, they couldn't <laughs> quite, the, the drones... Couldn't quite determine whether or not this was the work of these aliens. Yeah, I guess because nothing was impaled. Because well, because what something else on the planet Earth <laughs> yeah. is killing and stacking monkeys. No, but like, it was like, this is not my business. It was, it was my business. a pile of dead yeah. monkeys. Yeah, 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 yeah. the computer got shy. It's like I don't want to say for sure. <laughs> yeah. but... I don't want to say it is, and then it's not, and you're going to be mad at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because later, one of the other probes finds humans, you know, remains of the crew impaled on a thing, and it's like... <laughs> Uh, possibility of Ursa uh, traces, 100%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this time, there's no mistaking it. <laughs> oh, man. The, the fucking... And then at the end, he literally has to climb, like, uh, a, a volcano, like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yes. In order to sh- shine the beacon and flash a light so they can be rescued. It's, it's fucking... This movie is... It's not as boring as Avatar, not Avatar, uh, The Last Airbender. Yes. It's not as boring oh, God, as The yeah. Last Airbender, um, but it is boring for long stretches of well, time. Well, it's such a linear movie. It's like they crash land, you know he's got to get to the other side, yeah. you know he's got to fight this thing, and you know he's, you. it's it's all right there. Right in, and, and there's no, but there's no like fun, like Will Smith is fun. Yeah, it's like, not he's fun. He's fun on some level. Well, can I ask you this because I haven't read any of the stuff, but so is the don't have fear, blah, 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 is that Scientology I stuff? I mean, I think there's there is certain Scientology, like I think th- they've come out saying things as crazy as we can heal our own bodies just by thinking those thoughts sure. and all that type of stuff. I think it is very much so mind over matter and, got it, got you it. know, we 
and and also like the the moment where he says how do you feel about this it's all about like personal yeah, mm, yeah responsibility yeah, yeah. and not looking at anyone else but interesting that's but so, that's but that's oh, why that's it really so did feel like a Scientology instructional video because there's no journey for Will Smith's character. It's simply just like, yeah, just be like him. He's right. He's yeah. right and just yeah. be like so him. And even to the point where his his son, who was six years old at the time of this right. attack, yeah. is like, it's up to you to decide whether or not you right. should have gotten out of that terrain. Yeah. You know? It's like, no, it's right. not at all. Not at all. Right. Yeah, yeah this is nuts. By the way, yeah. somebody should have said, this is not on you. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. And no one ever this did. This is no, yeah. not no one on ever did. you. Everybody's like, you're going to have to decide if this is on you or not, bro. Yeah. Which is basically saying this is 100% on you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Unless you say it's not. And then, yeah. And I guess, I'm not saying it is. Hey, you're the only one saying this. I'm just deciding what I feel for me. Now go over there and touch well, the wall. The, then walk they, back and touch the window. But the moral of the movie is don't feel what you feel, right? I mean, that's yeah, like basically exactly. it. Saying like, well, hey, see, that's don't feel what you feel. feel. I, I did like that element of it. Maybe I'm a Scientologist now. I don't know. But I did. <laughs> oh, my God. It worked. I, oh, my God. I did the like message that, boards, the message that boards that are going idea crazy. of like, it's not, it's not that fear is not real or it's not that you're not in danger. It's just if you stay in the present moment and don't tell yourself the story of the future <laughs> and what might happen because that's really actually doesn't exist. I do think that I it did. that was a uh, I do think that was I actually be- do believe that like the moment where he's like don't think about Project what is just what could like happen. smell uh, yes. touch what is a, what is what is yes. your present and what are you feeling in your body which I, but which I, got, I like that yeah. it's, I it's, it's ignoring the fact that <laughs> Fear is a biological necessity for yes. living creatures. For survival. <laughs> yes, right. because yeah. you can't, you can't, you can be afraid and still uh, accomplish the same things right. that uh, this character was able to accomplish. But what this movie is saying is this creature only senses fear. Yes. So you have to absolutely not feel, not feel it at all, yeah. which is that's, it's that's crazy. crazy talk. That's impossible. And, right. and that's basically, the talk. reward in the movie is. I feel like the movie is it, 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 it should the reward have, is love it should have that's well, how you earn it so yeah. basically yeah. it should have humanized Will Smith and instead roboticized right. Jaden yes yeah. and we're supposed to be happy and about the, it and that yeah, is the yeah, hooray right. the right. hooray like, moment is like you oh great me. you fucking destroyed this generation right. now you fucking piece of you've shit you've accepted your responsibility for your sister's death finally yeah well, it okay. Maybe what they were going for, though, is that Will Smith. What he came to at the end is that maybe he did fail as a father, and and being a father would have just been to to sort of be around more and love them. Well, you know what? I but do, like but no. But here's I didn't get but you, that. Wait, but this is why this is why it doesn't work uh, because in the beginning of the movie, Will Smith comes home in his dress whites after some sort of mission, and and reveals <laughs> and reveals that he is retiring. He's like, I'm out. After this movie, like after this thing, I'm out. I'm retiring. After this movie, after this movie, I'm out. Uh, In one hour and forty minutes, I am done. So at the end, when he goes, I want to work for your mom too. He's already said that at the top of the movie that yeah. this is his final mission. So it's like there's no growth even there. <laughs> That's right. He's already yeah. made up his mind. Yeah. So That's it's like true. it's so it's, it's sort true. of like saying like you're already going to retire. <laughs> like you want like, <laughs> just to be clear, I'm not doing this for you. Yeah. yeah. I've, there is no choice in this that is because of what has just right. happened. Exactly. Except my willingness to accept this hug. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work out good for the Rage family. This is... <laughs> the mo- the <laughs> movie is just family. bad. But, I mean, yeah. like, there could easily be, like, sequels to this. Well, it was you know? built to that end, from what I understand. Yeah. It was built to be a book, a game. Uh, like, sure. it was built in that uh, very... Cult. <laughs> But is there yeah, any? I mean, like, does Battlefield Earth re- resemble this at all? It feels similar to Battlefield Earth in the sense that there are um, ideas of the mind taking over for, like, freeing your mind and yeah. stuff like that. I saw that movie and I don't remember a single Same. thing about it. Uh, what was it called? Uh, 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 rat brains, right? That's what they called them all. <laughs> rat, rat, brains. rat brains. Listen, rat brains. <laughs> um, oh my god. But yeah, it is... Uh, it oof. is kind of weird they would separate them for that long. Like, why not have Will Smith with him for half the journey and then, like... I thought he was going to heal his leg. Yeah, yeah. And then he was going to join him and then, no... <laughs> No, because that, that, that's the big thing that you think about the movie. It's like, by the way, everything that we really picked on in the beginning was like five minutes, like Will and the kid together. The rest of the movie is it's Will in a more. ship and the kid out in, like, it seems like Will Smith shot most of this movie maybe in like two weeks. Like, oh, I, I feel like this movie was, the whole thing was shot in three days and then post-production was two years. <laughs> yeah. 
Literally, put in all the CGI. Is, is all... So much green screen, yeah. like an aggressive amount. Like Almost the entire as movie much is Great Gatsby. <laughs> I didn't see. Yeah, is, is it? <laughs> I didn't see Great Gatsby, guys. But you know it had a lot of green yeah. screen. I guess it had a lot of green screen. I didn't mean to derail you, but go ahead. Oh, no, forget it. No, I just, really what, shut Jason down. Price? I feel really, I, I feel like I've been publicly outed as having not seen The Great Gatsby. I can't participate in this bit about it because I haven't seen it. Wait, you, you know what? I gotta go, guys. You didn't read DiCaprio magazine? Guys, I gotta go. I got. I can't do this. I was at a store the other day and I saw a magazine, DiCaprio magazine, and it has him on the cover. What? It's just a Is ma- it a weekly or a monthly? It, well, I think it's a month thing. It has to be. I mean, you know. Um, wow. Will Smith does have a sense of humor about this movie because he's on Kimmel this week. And this is the first time he's not been in a number one movie in like 25 years. Because this is movie that did true? not do well, No, right? it came in number three. Oh, really? And he said, you know, the way he looks at it is it's, <laughs> it's three number ones. That's how he, de- that's how he decided. What? <laughs> Oh, because he's also he also he and Jaden have their own special math, right? Yeah, <laughs> that is beyond. There was some there was some interview where was it? Oh wait, is this real? Yeah, there was some interview. It was a recent okay. interview yeah. where he uh, he says that he and his son have uh, dis- they have stumbled upon this new kind of math that other people don't understand and they see numbers that don't exist or something it's something crazy like that. I, well i gotta say i did see yeah. him on tavis smiley one time and he talked about being an alchemist and talking and turning sure. yeah wait yeah. what sure. Space yeah into gold absolutely. yeah that there is a you can you can find it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, i'm just looking yeah this so is... the movie the movie took in 27 million at the box office in north america and uh yeah so but there's it's... no way it made its money back no 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 no, no, no impossible no. yeah and the theater it was is pretty it is the today. um <laughs> For a Sunday afternoon, it is it is between the two biggest flops, uh, which is Battle uh, Battleship and John Carter of Mars. As far as as much money spent, Wait, as much those money. are the two big. Oh, wow. Kitsch. so that's three. Oh, so boy. he's in the middle. He's in the middle. So he helped Kitsch kind of take a break. Here. I'm upset that I've seen two out of three of those. <laughs> uh, I I saw both of those movies. I've saw, I've seen all three of those. You've movies seen all now. three, yeah. and yet you haven't seen Great Gatsby. No. That's interesting. You know what? I don't want to talk about it too. Uh, have you read the book? W- what? Oh, it's a book? Oh, brother. Uh, well, I feel like we have we have unopened it. Is there a comic book version of it? I'm sure there is. All right, I'll read I'm that. Would sure anyone is. go recommend seeing this movie? Nah. No. Nah. See, I, en- I, I enjoyed it. You know what? It's you were bad. Entertained? It's bad. I was. I was entertained. I. I. I had a fine. Maybe if time. it was on Netflix, watch instant. I would on an airplane. I would maybe. You know what? Even then, I wouldn't enjoy it. You well, know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just point out one thing here that Buzz Aldrin said that he thought it was a quite action packed story, and uh, Buzz wait, Aldrin. Is Buzz Aldrin <laughs> re- doing movie any, movie? any movie that involves space, they have to ask Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> you know what? But, it goes, but it's not realistic <laughs> because in space you don't get that much noise. <laughs> That's his only point. Wow. He goes, the scenes of the cities were remarkable, but different slightly from his experience on the moon, which he described as a it really desolation. Really me out that like we we turned this amazing astronaut into like a joke. Yeah, right. Right. we you did. Know what I mean, yes, we did. We did. I All think four he of did. Us <laughs> I think he turned himself into so, a joke. I guess so, but it's like we've done it with like our Olympic athletes too. It's like is nothing sacred? Uh, <laughs> Can't these people just their jobs? Where are our Seriously? heroes? Seriously. I will say Buzz Aldrin is the reason I didn't see Great Gatsby because he gave it a very bad review. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough space. Yep. Oh, <laughs> He's like, man. <laughs> The cities were breathtaking. <laughs> all right. Well, there's a lot of great stuff on uh, on uh, Wikipedia. You can read all the different people's reviews and, and <laughs> thoughts about it. Uh, a noted uh, professor of Scientology did say there is no connection between these two things. He's a uh, he studies Scientology. An independent, not a Scientologist. Not a sci- yeah, not a Scientologist. He said that it is uh, not. He doesn't. He does not find anything there. A lot of people have been attacking it. Interesting. At, that way, because people are saying that Will Smith is a secret Scientologist. Scientologist. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. That he won't come out and say that he. He is, but that he's hanging out with Scientologists. And he's like, and he donated to all that money to a Scientology school, but uh, this professor. And he said, is, I'm a Scientologist. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and, but then quickly said, JK. <laughs> <laughs> LOL, JK, R O T F L. 
Um, all right. Well, Paul, you are, you are going to be in London. Is that correct? That is correct. July 8th through the 13th, I will be returning to the Soho Theater, uh, bringing uh, my show Crying and Driving back to that place. I'm very excited. Also, may I point out, this is a plug that concerns Jason Manzoukas. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we wow. just We just recorded episode uh, 24 of the Dead Authors podcast. Oh, such a great podcast. Features, uh, which, uh, Paul, you have yeah. done, and features Jason Manzoukas as oh, Plato. Fantastic. Oh. So that'll be coming out very and soon. There is, and my you it is not funny at all it is a it is a very serious analysis it's of platonic philosophy yes yes so <laughs> yep. comedy fans can you give me stay can, can, fans, can I don't hear a little, bother can I hear a little bit of uh, Plato what Plato sounds like yeah sure, oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, may I talk to Plato hold on, <clears throat> hold on. <clears throat> hey what's going on <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert, Plato actually says in the course of this episode, I'm not on Twitter, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. June, you have anything you'd like to talk about? Uh, well, NTSF is coming back coming this back. July. And Burning Love is still up on burninglove.com. Yeah. Oh, actually, as a matter of fact, uh, NTSF is having a big marathon rolling into our third season. So you can start watching it on Thursdays no, at midnight. So there you go. Yeah. Well, I've right. been a mar- big marathon myself. Oh, well, geez. Sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paula, for for joining us. And uh, so I guess don't see uh, After Earth unless you have uh, an hour and forty minutes to kill, <laughs> and you really can't do anything else. Your iPad's dead, and and you, you can't call anybody. And you just need to delay your uh, smoothie, <laughs> or, or you're into giant birds. <laughs> if you like giant birds you know and what? weird wheelchairs, Another go see this movie. Absolutely, giant bird fans. This is a must. I mean, that's <laughs> it. Because you'll be bummed if your giant bird buddies are like, "Well, After Earth, Avi," <laughs> and you were like, yeah, you can't, "And you're like, oh, I didn't see it. Oh, I heard man. it was bad." And they're like, "Giant bird in it, bro." My GBBs really gave me the business. <laughs> uh, thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.